Hello Zumba Kids with Kate, welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you ideas I have for your class when you visit in Mexico. Um, this week we've done that and it was very successful so I thought straight away I'm going to tell you what we did. Basically around Mexico obviously you'll be playing quebradita songs and what I did I simply played just few um, tracks of quebradita and asked them to dance to them just whatever they felt they just feel the music and 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 show me how would you do <laughs> I showed them cactuses, which are the plants that are in Mexico, they're very symbolic for Mexico, they really liked it. Then I showed them the sombrero hat, that is another symbol of Mexico, obviously, and I think the most important one was the maracas. I had the original ones um, made out of coconut shells and the bamboo sticks and they really liked it so they could touch it, shake it, see what sound it makes and then we decided we will be making some maracas. So wait and see how we did it. When you visit Mexico for the dance we have done the Mexican hat dance. It's a very super simple um, routine um, you can obviously add something up for the older kids, but for the young ones, just keeping it very simple. Really yeah. helps. <laughs> I really liked it. And after we made our maracas, we danced the, um, the Mexican hat dance using our maracas. Also when talking about Mexican uh, people, we uh, were talking about their food, the spicy food, um, but also that they really like eating nachos and dipping in a salsa dip or guacamole, but we more concentrate on the salsa dip. So another thing you can do, I don't know if you remember, when I did the salsa um, rhythm review, we had that game when we were making salsa dip. So kids are sat in a circle with the bean back in their hand and they tap on the floor and they say ingredient um, for the salsa dip. So for example, they tap and each time they say tomato, onion, pepper, salsa. On salsa, you pass the bean back to your neighbor and so on and so on. So tomato, onion, pepper, salsa, pass the bean back. Then you go faster and faster and faster, which is obviously crazy fun and just pretending you really mix in the salsa um, sauce and then you taste it at the end and it's really yummy so kids really like it circle theme um, that you can use. Using the um, sombrero hats, I have quite a few, just the sombrero party hats I bought. Um, so what you do, you give it to the kids, it's up to you, depending how many you have in your class, you can give them two hats, three hats, four, up to you. So the hats are going around the circle, 
passing the hat, passing the hat. When the music stops, whoever's got the hat has to put it on and dance in the middle. The To make your maracas is again a very very easy way to do it. Um, it will look like this. Perhaps you've seen it before. It's all around internet. It's really really easy way to do it. <laughs> Once I give them the ready-made egg filled with rice because I don't have rice all around the hole and then I give them two spoons which I taped again ready for them to use and simply they just put the egg in between the eggs and really you have your maracas ready the only thing is to secure it so they just tape um, using colorful tapes um, what they called the, the duct tape, you know, they're very easy to tear. You just give them to, to wrap it around so it's colorful and it holds together. And this is the actual bit they are having fun with making it colorful um, maracas. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so yeah, that's what we did. And then we danced using our maracas to Mexican hat dance. So this is it from me uh, when visiting Mexico. I hope you enjoyed it and you can use my ideas at your class. Have fun with it and keep on dancing. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.